hello, hello, Sagittarius. Thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes. I'm giving you a bonus because our last reading, um, if you did get a chance to watch it, was extremely deep and um, I can tell you that it definitely stayed with me. I'm hoping I'm finding you in better energy. It honestly looks like it to me. We're taking some steps in the right direction. Um, let's just jump right into it. Your main energy is coming up as fertility. And you guys know that this is the Empress and the, um, the regular Rider deck. And if you're watching Tarot... What you mostly hear is that uh, the empress is pregnant, the empress is pregnant, and she is, she, she really is. However, it doesn't have to be um, a pregnancy in the physical realm. Keep in mind that the empress is pregnant because seeds of uh, ideas uh, were planted, seeds of abundance were planted, seeds of uh, um, prosperity, you know, whatever uh, you were manifesting in your life, uh, the Empress uh, holds it for you and births it when you're ready to release, when it's ready, this energy is ready to be released. And right now, this is where you are. Your energy is just about ready to be released, um, which is really good energy if you're embracing this right now, because honestly, I think that some of you aren't. I think that some of you are still... Um, stuck in, 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 um, I'm thinking willows, it's not willows, it's, uh, wallowing, wallowing, is it wallowing? Okay, you know what I mean, wallowing, like, in, in, in sadness, like, stuck in sadness, let's say it like that, um, if you are birthing, and in, taking on the, uh, energy of the empress, rather, and, uh, had planted your seeds and you're ready uh, to see some fruits of your labor, what's heading you is financial and material changes. So it's in your reach. You see this hand open? Open the grab. Hand wide open to grab. Whatever it is, that be it that baby, that money, that house, that job, whatever it is, this hand is reaching up to grab it. Even marriage, keep in mind, this is a, if, if that's not manifesting, I don't know what is. Uh, he, uh, this person, uh, male or female, looks like a male's hand, actually, is wearing both wedding rings. You hear me? Both bands. Like, come on. I, I want this. So, if that's what you want, manifest it. She's ready to birth it. And it's definitely in your grasp. It's in your reach. You just got to grab it, okay? What's undermining you is hope. Now, this is uh, the star card in the Rider deck, and uh, if it's undermining you, that means it's a lack of, okay? It's a lack of um, believing in yourself. It's a lack of confidence. It's a lack of uh, believing in your wish. It's a lack, you, like, you, you, like, it's almost as if you, you, you want it, but you know it can't happen. I really do want this, but I know I can't afford it. I really want that job, but I know I'm not qualified. You know what I'm saying? And this is undermining you, and it shouldn't. This star really should be above you, but um, what's above you is you having to reach for it. Okay? But you have to believe that it's in your grasp. If you don't believe it, you can't reach it. It's not going to happen, babe. Sag, what's behind you was a uh, heartache and loss. I honestly wasn't surprised to see this, uh, given your last reading um, for the 15th to the 30th of September. Um, this is still heavily um, in your mind. This is heavily your mental state. And it's understandable, you know. Pain isn't something that just disappears with a new day or a good meal or a, a drink or a smoke or whatever the case is. Pain is pain, you know what I mean? And it uh, lessens um, in severity with time. And 
um, understanding and forgiveness and um, accepting, you know. So once you get through those processes of your loss, then um, your healing will be a little bit easier. It will be. It does get better, okay? It gets better. What you're moving towards is you're better. This is suffering in silence. Our, your last reading, you were moving towards, oh, what was it? I can't recall the card, but I distinctly remember the picture, and I distinctly remember me saying that all he had to do was turn around to the light because the rays of light was feeding his heart. It was in this deck, yeah, it was the oracle deck, and it was a, a blue card, so it was definitely your mental space. So it looks like your mental space that you're moving towards is that um, you are now facing the light. You are now talking to your higher power. You are on your knees in submission. You have traveled. You see the steps on the mountain? Do you see how high these mountains are? Look how far she had to come up to have a one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Staff in hand because it was a rough journey to be so humble and face her master, because it's not just that, that she's facing the sun. Do you see spirit? I don't know if you guys can see the little birds. There's little birds flying up there. You see that? Beautiful card. That is just a one-on-one -on -one with your higher power, whoever you believe in. And uh, asking for guidance, asking for understanding, asking for whatever it is that, you know, is within your heart. Because your relationship with your higher power is your own, which is why... You're suffering in silence, okay? All right. So, granted, we still have some um, heartache. We have some suffering. We have some uh, pessimism. But you know what? We have come, uh, uh, taken some steps in the right direction with this empress. So, let's just see where this is heading. Let's get some clarifiers on this, guys. Cut. Well, geez. Clarify the Empress, and we have a King of Wands. The, the King is uh, focused, mature. The King is passionate. Mature, the King has his rod in hand, looking out seriously at the kingdom, like, all right, I need to do this there, I need to do that there, I know I did that. It's done. He's the King. All right, delegating authority. And by clarifying... Uh, the Empress, that means that you are embracing this energy, okay? You are ready to birth these um, seeds that you planted because the king is going to take care of them. The king is uh, already ruling the kingdom. You understand what I'm saying? So if you were birthing that new job or uh, that new idea to start your business or what have you to make that move, the king is ready to take on the task because he's the man to do it. And that's good stuff right there. Very good. Let's clarify. King. Jeez. And look at that. Justice. 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 Justice is serious, guys. We're cutting through this crap. Cutting through the crap with the sword. Finding balance, which is the Empress. Air energy. Libra. Uh, Gemini. Aquarius, justice is clarifying on the king. That means that whatever this idea was that you're birthing into the spiritual realm, into the universe, so that you can grab it, okay? So that you can grab it. It was yours. Judgment was called, and it was yours. All you got to do is reach out, baby. Heartache and loss. Let's touch on that a little bit. Heartache and loss, please. You holding on. Oh, baby. You holding on. Four pentacles. I just 
want to sidebar on this. What the Sag, uh, Sagittarius is need to do to help them let go of the heartache and loss. Uh, what does Sagittarius need? Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Emperor and uh, Six of Pentacles. Take charge and ask for help. Ask for help. Talk to someone older, someone uh, that you trust, um, maybe somebody that went through what you're going through, and ask for help. Thank you, Spirit. That was right on time. I couldn't get a plainer answer than that. Thank you. All right, guys. Financial and material changes. What's up with the coin? King of Pentacles is right there, baby. Living my best life. Financially secure, abundant. Look at all of this green. You know what? I just noticed that looks like reefer, don't it? I'm not a smoker, y'all, but for your smokers, yeah, you be living your best life, baby. <laughs> Let's have one more. Financial material, please. Jeez. Oh, but you're guarded. Huh. Is this what's stopping your reach? Why are you losing hope? You're guarded, babe. Oh, have one more on that. Nine of Wands, please. You gotta take a leap of faith. Yep. That's you doubting your Empress energy. Like I said, it was only some of you that were in this energy. Some of you are still in uh, heartache and loss. And if you're still in this, then you're not ready for this. And that's okay. Because everything that's for you is in divine timing. It's just not your time. For the Sagittariuses that are in uh, the Empress energy right now, baby, you got to take a leap of faith and reach reach let me have uh why is uh hope undermining this process upside down the moon you're not trusted you don't trust it You know it's there. You can see it. It's practically in the palm of your hand. But you don't trust this. Hmm. Hold on, guys. Why is the moon in reverse? Hmm. Uh, four of swords, page of cups. Taking a break. Taking baby steps. Lagging off. Drinking. not following into your journey. This just must be the other sages. Yep. He's in there resting. The family's outside in living color. He's wallowing. I hope that's a word, y'all. Let me know in the comments if I'm getting it wrong. I don't mind being corrected. Um, but yeah, family is outside, you know, embracing life. And he's trying to get his mind right. I understand that, baby. A little bit at a time, all right? As long as you take a step, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. For the sages that are moving towards suffering in silence, Clarify, please. 
All right, we got a brand new beginning divinely handed to you. I call this the boomstick. I ain't gonna lie. Unga bunga. <laughs> if this was a lover's reading, that's what I'd be saying to you. Unga bunga. Somebody come and say, boom, unga bunga. But this is a brand new beginning, baby. Your divine is handing it to you. Personally. You see that? Personally, baby. Absolutely wonderful. What is this passionate new beginning for Sagittarius, please? Oh, wait. That was a half. We'll take a peek. We're going to put it back. Let's take a peek. Nope. Nine of Swords, Five of Pentacles. We definitely don't want that. We're going to go in the right direction because well, maybe that's what's on your mind, though. Feeling out in the cold, stressing out, sleepless nights. But keep talking to God. Keep talking to your higher power. Please clarify uh, Ace of Wands. Queen of Wands. Mm. Two of staff. You see all this fire? This is passion, 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 passion. You see that? That's four wands right there. That's a brand new everything. Bliss, wish fulfillment. It's coming, baby. Stay on the right track. The whole world is in the palm of your hand. All right? Reach for it. Grab it. Get into the energy of manifesting what's been on your mind. These ideas, these changes that you've been wanting. Get into that energy. Keep that energy and keep pushing. You can do it. As long as you believe it, you can do it. For the Sages that are still in heartache and loss, um, everything in divine timing, you know, be encouraged. Uh, many, many blessings out to you, to your families for your loss. Absolutely. Mm, mm, mm. Take a peek. Okay. Look at that at the bottom. Ace of Swords. Woo wee. Yeah. Ace of Wands. Ace of Swords. Two of, two of Wands. Queen of Wands. Hey, that's good money right there. All right, guys. Let's get some humor. Sagittarius, you guys been serious on me lately. Let's get some humor. Mm. Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius energy. What do you want them to hear about this reading? Sagittarius, please. What do you want them to know about this reading? What do you want them to hear? All right, guys. Let's see what we have. Get over yourself. Pull your ish together. Help people. Give back. Do good ish for humanity. Sometimes that's how you heal and help yourself just to help someone else. Absolutely. Stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. Maybe listen to that emperor that I told you you should be talking to when we ask spirit what you needed to do to get out the heartache and loss for the Sagittarius that are in that energy. Um, talk to somebody. Absolutely. And listen. And they can help you. Okay? They will. They will help you. Give you exactly what you need when you need it. Take an effing trip. Go see some ish. Do some new things. Talk to people cooler than you. Awesome sauce. Because that's exactly what that is. A traveler up the mountain talking to God. I can't think of a better trip than that. That's beautiful. I thought it was four. Oh, guys, wasn't it four that fell out? I don't see it. All right, well, if it's not for us, then it's not for us. Hmm. Okay. All right, I hope you enjoyed your reading, your bonus. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And remember that we are all perfectly imperfect. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.